um, uh, any further delay, I want to bring up two of our, our team members uh, that will um, uh, go over uh, the uh, presentation on the annual reporting process. Uh, that is uh, Laurel Mac Wilson and Khadija Shaw. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, Kim, if you can pull up the PowerPoint, please. All right, we are ready to go. So hello, everyone. Welcome to the 2022 GWR C Annual Report Data Collection presentation. My name is Laurel and... My name is Lija, the intern. Next slide, please, Kim. Okay, so we are the Greater Washington Region Clean Cities Coalition, a public-private partnership that promotes the use of clean alternative American fuels for homeland security and air quality. On this slide, it shows the main focus of GWR Triple C. So as you can see, it's green jobs, workforce development, and then, as I mentioned before, alternative and renewable fuels. Um, next slide, please. Okay, so the Clean Cities Coalition, uh, the Department of Energy started it and created it, sorry, in 1993. Um, Clean Cities collaborates with federal agencies, fuel providers, industry associates, and et cetera. There are more than 75 active coalitions covering nearly every state. They work locally to advance affordable transportation fuels. And if you want more information, you can click on the Clean Cities. You can go on cleancities.energy.gov. Next slide, please. So the stakeholders role, we, the stakeholders hold a huge impact on the whole um, data collection process. It's fitting that we work together. So because you've worked so hard to reduce emissions this past year, so we need stakeholders hold a huge impact on the whole data collection process. So it's fitting that we work together. So the whole process is smooth because you all have worked very hard to reduce emissions this past year. So we need your perspective and insight. Next slide, please. So with all that said, we need from you all. So GWR Triple C is collecting data on emission reducing technology implemented in DC, Maryland, and Northern Virginia in 2022. Outreach activities for clean energy and transportation, grants for clean energy and transportation, the number of alternative fuel stations slash EV charging stations, number of alternative fuel vehicles, electric vehicles, and hybrid vehicles, and where they were used and how much energy was saved, any fuel economy improvements, vehicle miles traveled reductions. There's a couple more, Kim. I think there's two more. Ida reduction and truck stop electrification. On to the next slide. So here's how we would like you to submit data. First and foremost, you're gonna complete a data collection contact form, which we will provide the link to at the end of the presentation. This is gonna be really important because that's how we're going to get the correct contact information. Um, and that's also how you're going to uh, personalize your your data file that we send to you. So once you receive your con your contact collection form, um, we'll send you your personalized Excel file. And once you receive your Excel file, it's really important that you complete all the questions relevant to the data that you want to submit. So there is not an option for us to uh, submit incomplete data in the, the data processing software that we use for, from the DOE. 
So it's going to be really important that you complete all of those questions, because if you don't, we are going to have to give you a call and hound you a little bit. So it'll really just be better if you complete all the questions to the best of your knowledge. But know that some of the questions don't require specific answers. So as you're going through, if you don't completely know an answer, you can check and see um, if you don't need a super specific answer at the top of the question and uh, go from there. Once you're done completing your data Excel sheet, then you'll submit it to me, Laurel, um, and we will make sure that everyone has the correct email to submit data to. But my email is also available on um, GWRCCC's website. Next slide, please. Uh, so I wanted to show some examples of what the Excel file looks like so that it's a little less daunting. Um, you'll see down toward the bottom, there are, are Excel sheets with certain names depending on what type of data you're submitting. So everyone is going to have this start page with some general information and putting in your contact info. And then you'll also have an operating info page after that, the pages are going to change depending on the um, data collection contact form that you sent. So if you choose in the form to submit data on outreach activities and new stations, then we'll send you the specific sheets with outreach activities and new stations. Next slide. So when you get into the report sheet, this is an example from the alternative fuel vehicles. Um, you'll see that it looks like there's a lot of options, but I'm going to make them look simple for you. So the gray setting is the type of data that you're inputting or the, the gray uh, row or yeah, row. <laughs> um, so after, underneath that gray are the instructions for the question and more specific data. And I do want to point out, um, for instance, on the what market do these vehicles serve data point, you can select one option. Like, so you aren't making up the market that your vehicles serve. We give you the parameters to fill in. You just have to choose which one works best for the data point. And then um, it under rows, like, you know, under rows five, that's where you're going to be inputting your data, each data point. Um, and say for instance, if you have vehicles that serve um, an airport and commuters and corporate fleets, if you have separate vehicles for each, then please submit a different data point. Next slide. So all that to say, the data submission due date is March 14th of this year. Once you fill out your data collection contact form, we'll be in touch. This is a QR code for the form. I do want to say, please get your data in as early as possible. Some of these questions might take a little bit of, an, of time to, to nail down. And so it is going to be important that, you know, you aren't starting data collection, preferably you're not starting data collection on March 13th, right? Like we want this to get in early specifically because if you're turning in data and maybe there's a question that wasn't filled out correctly, then we need to have the time to call you and nail everything down. So, um, Please try and get this in early. And uh, there, Khadija, can you put the link to the form in the chat as well, just in case, you know, for whatever reason you can't use a QR code. And next slide. Any questions? All right. Thank you, thank you. Um... Thank you for the great um, presentation.